Hi folks, Chef Pep here back again. Today we're gonna show you how to fillet a pompano. These are pompano, these are surfish that can be caught uh, uh, in Mexico, uh, mostly in Florida, Daytona Beach, and they use sand fleas on the beach and they catch them right off of the surf. They're really delicious fish, they're buttery, they're scales, you don't need to scale them, they're so small, you can eat them, really good for you, and easy to fully and prepare. So I got these two today, I picked them up from um, somebody that got them uh, from uh, either Florida, or, um, uh, uh, maybe Daytona, I'm not too positive where they got them, but they uh, flew them in, and so they're really nice and fresh. So what I wanna show you guys, first of all, this is called a diamond whetstone. And this is going to be my fillet knife. And the diamond sharpening system is what, that's old school. That's what I started on rather than the emery stone, which is like the gray colored stone that you either put oil on or some of them water. But these, it's a different sharpening system and it has different numbers for the different grit, just like sandpaper. Uh, the most coarse is the blue and that's where you get your 200. Then you 300 yellow, 400 green, and 600 red and I like using these for my uh, sharpening systems and you just wet them you don't they use oil you use water and my knives stay pretty sharp but the way to, to keep them real sharp is you kind of have a, a an even uh, motion where you start from the tip and you end up at the back and you start from the tip end up from the back and then you use your your steel and that feels like it's got a really nice edge on it. This is the one I used to use when I was uh, cutting fish way back when. This is the red one, and this is what it looks like. But we're not promoting uh, this, the sharpening system. I'm just letting you guys know. It's a really good way of sharpening your knife. So to start, you always have the tail to your left and the head to your right. First thing we're going to do is cut off the... Well, that's good and sharp. Always cut away. We're going to cut the fins off first. And this hasn't been gutted yet, and we're not gonna gut it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the knife and we're gonna cut around the head and the meat goes all the way up by the, the eyes. So we're gonna cut that head out. I'm gonna do the first one while I explain it to you. We're gonna cut down and then we're gonna roll the knife all the way back into the head so that all you take off of the head is that right there and you've got this whole nice little hollow spot. Okay, and then you, you can just kind of open the belly with your knife and pull out the guts if you want. And if you don't want to pull out the guts, you can leave them in. I like to pull them out, rinse that blood off of there. I like to pull them out so it's a nice clean fillet. So you're going to have this fillet that's pretty clean. And it's, I'm going to show you how to take the, the pin bone out. Like, be careful. Uh, like I said, it cuts like butter. So I don't know if you can see from this angle or maybe if you wanna uh, take a look uh, from this side, which will be a little better, a little easier for you to see what I'm doing. And you take your knife and you start it right on, you run it right on top, like you would do any other fish, run it on down. And then you cut right up, cut right up into that. And there's your bone. See, it's like butter. It cuts through really easy, so be really careful. And then when you're done, see how that's a little slippery. If you want to put a little cloth there, you can. And then you pull that out. That's one side that's already off. Because they didn't gut the fish, you have a little bit of the, the, uh, the entrails of the guts in there. So you can just kind of shave that off so that you're left with a nice, clean, buttery filet. That's right there. Now the same thing you do on the other side, but it's the opposite direction. Run your knife at an angle all the way down and then run it right along the bones. It's just like butter. This thing cuts through so beautifully. Just like that, cut right through that belly bone and bring it all the way down and you'll see it comes right up on the other end. And there's your carcass. You discard that, you do the same thing on this side. Whatever's bloody or from the guts, if it hasn't been gutted, you just kind of shave it and trim it off. And then you've got a beautiful filet right there. So I'm gonna do this next one without the commentary. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. This one I won't even gut. Just 
shave that right off. You don't need any of that on there. Just keep that because that's going to be better if you leave it on there. Just trim that right off. Put that to the side. Off, so you're left with really nice looking pretty fresh um, pieces of uh, flesh and what I would usually do is I would get a little bit of water ice cold water catch some nice cold water always try to keep your board nice and clean free of blood and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little salt in there And I'm going to take my fillets and I'm going to kind of rinse them in the salt water so that you get that little blood off of there. And you've got really nice salt water is where they come from. So they're really, um, it doesn't affect the flavor or the taste. It actually improves it a little bit. Now we can take them out and lay them out and you can see exactly what the end product looks like. Stuff in there. Don't worry, folks, that's not my blood. Look <laughs> at that over there. That's how you know that the fish is fresh, that it still bleeds nice and red. And there you have it, folks. Beautiful pompano fillets. Now I'm going to go ahead and just kind of uh, maybe uh, broil a couple of these, and I'll, I'll just probably sear a couple of them. But they're very easy to cook. They're a thin fish. You cook them with the skin on. Season them with some salt and pepper. You know, if you have a, your favorite seasonings, Cajun seasonings, any other kind of seasoning salts that you want to use. But they're delicious fish. Like I say, they're native of Florida. They're the really, really, really good eating. So um, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate you tuning on. This is Chef Pepper. See you next time. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Bye-bye now.